My question to you is what happened to JavaScript? Um, web got complicated because users demanded more and JavaScript filled the hole. And what is Astro's participation? Trying to change that. <laughs> Trying to make a new architecture where you don't need to solve every problem with JavaScript. Or if you do, you're not shipping that JavaScript to the user. So server side, not client side. So is it just web components again? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see why you started there. Oh, OK. It's a bike. It's a bike. It's a bike. It's a bike. Welcome to the Pizza Bite, a show where I bribe guests with pizza to come talk with me. Our first guest is developer influencer Fred K. Schott. What's up, Fred? Not much. Happy Excellent. to be here. Well, I'm sure you're happy, and you're probably wondering why pizza, and it's because open sauce pizza. Oh, thank you. <laughs> perfect timing. Very perfect timing. It's like almost like we planned that. <laughs> so we're actually here at Fred. I don't know if you, you, you haven't been here before, right? I drive by this place all the time. I live like maybe 10 minutes that way. Okay, yeah, so we're at Arthur Max, which is the backyard of Oakland. Neighborhood backyard for our folks who love pizza but want a place to hang out. So dog friendly, baby friendly, people friendly. So check people, it out. People friendly, pizza friendly. Yeah, pizza friendly too as well. So, uh, and then we have the, the Hello Hawaiian too as well. Now, why did you go Hawaiian? That's a, uh, because, that's a controversial choice. Yeah, my older brother was like big in the pineapple and pizza. Uh, so it was like always the other choice uh, that we'd oh, have yeah, yeah. coming through. But this is a, uh, looks like ham this and awesome. jalapeno yeah, yeah, and, no, this looks great. and pineapple. So uh, Fred, since you're the guest, why don't you take the first slice? Oh God, that is a huge ask. All right, this one looks good. Ooh, I feel like we got to do like the. Yeah. Oh, nice. Looks good. Yeah, and it's like you got to do the whole like, pan the camera so they can zoom in. <laughs> so are you gonna eat too, or am I just? No, I'm just gonna watch you and make it awkward. Pizza bite. Excellent. Mmm, so good. <laughs> <laughs> what? You got that? One. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna grab a slice too because um, the great. pineapple I'm into, I might pick off the pine. Uh, I might pick off the uh, pineapple. You picked this pizza. Why'd you? Pick I a did. Pizza here? But I don't know, the, the jalapeno though, I'm into. Oh, great. Talk about Arthur Max, we're here in Arthur Max, but I actually wanted to talk more about... Sorry, this is really good. Sorry, go, go. We're trying to do a show here. <laughs> I know, I'm just eating lunch. Yeah. I came for the lunch, right? I'm we're actually we're being charged by the minute. The so bad's working. Speed up. Yeah, so, what happened to JavaScript? <laughs> what happened to JavaScript? Yeah, what happened to it? How it far back do so you good. want to go? I mean, you, you touched, like, you, you contributed to Node back in the day. Uh, and now we're in a point where JavaScript's evolving. And not, not even like what happened to JavaScript, but it's evolved in a place where now everyone's using TypeScript. Yeah, yeah, Like, what's the game now? Like, I'm a new developer. How do I even get, like, I don't want, I don't need a tutorial, but like, tell me, give me the cliff notes. Um, so, yeah, I mean, there's so much. JavaScript has come so far since like 10 years ago, two years ago, it's just constantly changing. Um, there was some like big argument of like, all these other languages, they just have like the one ORM, the one auth solution. Like, yeah. why is JavaScript every year there's a new thing? Um, it's because the language is constantly changing. Browsers are constantly changing. Users, preferences are constantly Design, it's such a visual medium. So JavaScript is this language that's had to kind of adapt constantly to new things, and we're all kind of just along for the ride. Yeah. I mean, there's like, there's a paid pass, though. Like, a lot of folks kind of centralize around React. Yeah. Uh, but then now the question is, like, React, the team's, like, changing. So Dan, Dan Abramoff basically announced that he's leaving React, uh, the core team, not, no longer a meta employee. I don't know. I, unfortunately, I didn't actually read that tweet. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, saw, I saw the uh, goodbye Dan Fake video news. from Theo. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, the, I'm reading the headlines and then creating a, <laughs> a narrative. Yeah, a narrative. At like, least you're upfront about it in an interview show about this topic. Exactly. <laughs> That's why we titled the episode what we titled. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you what it is. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> But anyway, so um, we're seeing like an evolution of the ecosystem. So yeah. like back in like 2015, when I was like got really more serious in JavaScript, right. there was like this whole JavaScript fatigue yeah. thing, and it was it wasn't even just npm. There was like Browserify on how to like bundle and build your sites, and I think we kind of got past that point mm -hmm. where we centralized around npm. But then I saw one of the the former npm team members are launching their own NPM. constant change, constant yeah, new constant every. So how do you stay up to date? Well, so I think there's this like really important thing, which is like I don't think the web has gotten more complicated like just by accident. I think it's that users are constantly expecting more. Like devices change, their phones get more powerful, and all of a sudden it's like that GeoCity site that you're building, which was probably yeah. like, HTML, little CSS, yeah. like maybe a form. Like now you're building like Facebook. Now you're building yeah. Airbnb, and like it has to like feel 
uh, user expectations are like, I want this to feel like an app. I want this to feel um, accessible to me. Maybe I don't really yeah. know Times New Roman. Like that feels weird yeah. and alien to me. I'm gonna close my browser. I need this to feel like an app. We're now moving into that this world where like React Server Components is now bringing the server closer to the front end, mm -hmm. and we're all having like a party that we could have had 15 years yeah, ago. Yeah. Like, so React comes out, people love it, and then that thing happens when people love something is they try and do way too much with it. Which, to be fair, is smart because the current, it's like the first iPhone, right? It's like everything else was just like, you look at the two and you're like, oh, I want what I want to do this. And you're yeah. telling me I can have one app and my whole front end team can have one app? We come full circle, well, now we have a thing that's a little more elegant. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know, I feel like, like we're both mutual friends, Theo. Uh, TRPC got huge, thanks to like create T3 app mm -hmm. and um, community sort of up, uptick. I remember tweeting actually Dan about the announcement for React Server Component. It's like, oh, how does this compare to TRPC? And Dan's like, I've never looked at it. <laughs> and I was like, it's it's so funny that we get to that same point. We're all like converging. Sorry, that's like not a knock on Dan, but it's more of like <laughs> yeah, Dan, we, Dan was always busy working burn, on React. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He was always busy. Yeah. <laughs> actually, it's a great clip. <laughs> but he was always busy working on React. That's yeah. why Dan was not, he didn't know anything about yeah. TRPC. But like we're all working in silos to the same thing. Yeah. So like we have like Prisma, and then we have Drizzle ORM, yeah. uh, and then we have SQLize. Yeah. But then we have like these other tools to do the same thing. So then the fatigue comes into the, yeah. the play. Yeah. I want to ask you this question, which is, why Web Components never took off? Oh, that's such a funny way to say it. Um, web Components are one of those technologies that like secretly like every site has on it. Like they have the actual usage metric, and it's like half the web now uses a Web Component somewhere on yeah. the page. And it's like, it's doing this. It's like, not like, oh, bump and then flat. Um, I was on the Polymer team. So that was Chrome's attempt to make web components into like like a React competitor. And that I think is what people kind of, it was so early that just in people's heads got one to one. I mean, that had existed for a while. I joined in 2016, I want to say, okay. 15 maybe. Yeah. Um, and I mainly worked on tools. So I'm like not at all the representative, but <laughs> my experience working on tools was like all the tooling effort went into like, this needs to be a full app solution. And what it ended up being is like, that's not actually where Web Components shine. They shine on like cross-platform, package things up. Um, Spot Shopify just announced some like really, really powerful way to like add things onto sites using Web Components. So like bundle something up. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you're making a great point. Bundle something up and grass. share it without needing to like actually ship app code to Shopify to run for you. It's, yeah. it's this nice little bundle. Okay. Um, so the tech is great. Polymer was, I think, a, a flawed presentation of that tech. Okay. Yeah, because like, and Lit to be Lit is doing a much better job of like utility helps you write web components. So is that a whole new team, Lit? I think it's a lot or of the same. A people. new project. Yeah, or? new evolution. Definitely like kind of cut its ties with Polymer, um, but the two are clearly inspired by. Each other. Okay, I'm gonna grab another slice because I have a spicy, spicy question for you. Some jalapenos on a pizza. Maybe jalapenos, so. pineapple, and I think Canadian bacon. Not too bad. Uh, I, I might be turning a corner around this pineapple thing. <laughs> You heard it here first. <laughs> on tape. Spicy question. Uh, actually, I've been following you on Twitter for a while. You're a developer influencer. This, this <laughs> owner, <Apparently. laughs> take it. Apparently, okay. Like, there is now, there's like a push into folks like saying a bunch of spicy things and like industry is kind of moving in different directions based on hot takes. Um, I, I don't know, have you seen this trend? <laughs> <laughs> the hot take trend? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think I've seen a couple of hot takes. Yeah, so like uh, the, the, the hot take that we've seen is uh well you participated in it. Oh I've got the I've got the notes. Got the which is like here. single page yeah. apps. So like we spent a lot of time as developers building single page apps. <laughs> yeah, okay. And then somebody yeah. tried to make multi page apps the thing. Like I kind of ignored that yeah. as part of the ecosystem. So like is that world dying? Which one? Multi page page apps. Um no, I mean alive and well. It's it's funny, MPA is such a bad acronym, but it's like <laughs> SBA, MPA, just it feels so right. MPA just means like the web architecture that everything else has ever used forever. Yeah. Like there's a server, it gives you HTML. That is alive and well. Like any JavaScript drama is not going to challenge that because it's with literally everything besides. But, so the drama, I want to do in that because then we have like all these new developer influencers like DevRel used to be a thing. Uh, <laughs> RIP DevRel. But now we have like influencers who are building YouTube channels and doing hot takes and, and tweets and quick little quips mm -hmm. of like, Rather not, I, I think a lot of folks have turned the corner around React Server Components, and I think mm -hmm. a lot of people are like, oh, okay, it makes sense. Yeah. But the initial like feedback was like, oh, this, here we go again. Yeah, I mean, it's a huge, they're, they're building a new framework. Like React is building a new framework inside of React. It's yeah. like a totally, totally huge mental model shift that I think, I don't know, it didn't, I think people were caught off guard by that. Like, Pitch does a new feature, but really it's like, change the way you think about 
everything, basically. Like, people compare it to Hooks. It's way bigger than Hooks. Like, Hooks yeah. was a feature. This is a total architecture shift. Yeah, so I have a tweet here, um, non sequitur, but on June 29th, 2023, you tweeted, whole milk is literally for babies. <laughs> Do you, what's, what's the story behind that? Yeah, I mean, it's true. I think it speaks for itself. Yeah, it's what babies drink. What else that, do you need to know? But that's quite an opinion, though. <laughs> it's a fact. I'm stating cold hard facts. But no, going back to the, the, the question, the story behind there of the whole milk thread with developer influencers. Yeah. It, it, did you did you watch that the entire time? Like, I think was it Prime was the first person drinking milk on camera. <sighs> No, but I think the person who actually started it would hate that you're saying that. <laughs> there was someone, uh, like, I think his name's like Milky or Milky. Oh, Milky Dove. Yes, yeah, yes. Milky Dove. I think. Yeah, Twitch, Twitch. Uh, but the joke there, that yeah. I actually tried to push was that Prime started it just to mess with him. I barely know him. I just thought it was funny to mess with him. <laughs> that is, that's amazing. Yeah. yeah, well, I mean, as the CEO of HTML, uh, you're, you're able to do whatever you, you want. Yeah, play those games, right? Yeah. Pitting DevRel against DevRel. So I have a question for you, which is your current team in Astro. You guys aren't really approaching the whole DevRel angle. Yeah. Uh, you kind of lead in really more content creation. And uh, I was curious, like, why so much? Is it because you guys build content sites? Yeah. Yeah, that's very funny. <laughs> we, um, it's taken us a while to find uh, to find our groove. And I don't know if that's, if we've ever really actually found it. Um, I'll, I'll answer that again, because I'm still. It's taken us a while to find our groove. I don't know if we've really, truly found it, but. Yeah, like we started with this idea of like, oh, DevRel, like that's a person's job, like go like do DevRel. And I don't think we really fully thought about what that means. And I think the industry is kind of reckoned with this, especially with COVID, like the idea of like, go to conferences and talk about Astro, go and create content about Astro. I think it's much more now about like connecting with the developer, like 100%. create something that they care about, like get in front of them, interact with them, build docs, build developer experience, make the tool better. Like it's much more of a holistic, yeah. part of everything versus like that thing you do over there yeah um, I, I can say this i hate devrel I, i've always my entire career i've tried to not do devrel yeah. and i think it's because devrel is a go get on a plane and travel yeah. and do a thing like there's a way you could sort of be in the motions yeah. but i've always wanted to be where the people are yeah, yeah. Well, and yeah it's I, such I, an important yeah. skill set for developers to have i think that's the, the sad part about it is that people who are currently like if, think of themselves as devrel are really good communicators and probably pretty good developers. Like, you have to do both to be a DevRel. The problem, I think, is just like, the role was pushed way too far out of engineering. It should be a part of engineering. It should be everyone's job. The people who are good at that should lift the rest of their team up. It's a chance to excel on your team, not to like go be on a different team. Yeah, so i ask you another, the same question I started this with, and we can end with this, which is the Java, I want you to answer this in a way of Astro's participation in the JavaScript yeah. ecosystem. So my question to you is, what happened to JavaScript? Um, web got complicated because users demanded more, and JavaScript filled the hole. Yeah, and what is Astro's participation? Trying to change that. <laughs> Trying to make a new architecture where you don't need to solve every problem with JavaScript. Or if you do, you're not shipping that JavaScript to the user. So server side, not client side. So is it just web components again? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see why you started there. Oh, OK. Um, no, web components is all about packaging and bundling for consumption across the web. This is if you're building a site, you're building an app, we're gonna give you all these tools that help you structure your project. Totally different web components, which is make this one little component work. Don't think about the rest of your site too hard. I'd say we flipped that bottle entirely. Excellent. So if I bet on Astro, will I have a career forever in <laughs> I mean, betting on Astro is betting on HTML, JavaScript. We're trying to keep as close to the base level tools. Um, the one thing that came out of Polymer that has persisted up to this point is use the platform. Hashtag, you got a hashtag, use the platform. Remix then co-opted it. It's still alive and well, which is like, don't go and build a totally new paradigm. The browser's <laughs> gonna give you one for free. The view transition stuff, like all this cool stuff that's happening, we're able to tap into that because we're not rebuilding the world. We're yeah. tapping into what exists on the platform. What are those remix guys doing? <laughs> building sites, <laughs> building Shopify sites. No, but what are they doing? <laughs> <laughs> Working in Shopify pretty happily, I bet. Yeah, yeah. Well, Fred, I appreciate the uh, the opportunity to have a chat, a pizza bite with you. Can we, can we cheers? <laughs> cheers, yes. <laughs> Explosions. <laughs> And, Thank uh, you for having me. Yeah, and you should definitely check out Arthur Max, the backyard of Oakland, and uh, kid friendly. Grab a slice, uh, and uh, let me know if you're here, because uh, I won't pay for your slice, but I'll I'll let you pay for my slice. He'll pay for time. your slice if you bully him into it. He'll pay for your slice. Excellent. Stay saucy. This saucy. It's a bite.